Welcome friends, today we're gonna take another look at the underground horde base and yes it still works I haven't touched it for a while so I'm glad it still works and we're gonna see can we uh, complete this and turn this into what the why is it in such a weird position oh I think it's stuck there okay anyway I, I don't want to be stuck All right so we're gonna take a look at can we uh, actually fix this to be actually a proper horde base and not just this uh, garage where zombies are going to run in and they're going to destroy everything. So I'm going to go and can you turn off, please? All right, this is perfect. So I'm going to finish up this thing and see how can we make it zombie safe? How can we make this into a proper horde base to survive the zombie horde? Thanks for following along and hopefully you enjoy this uh, expansion to this underground garage. It's a really good and safe way to have your vehicles underground, easy to get in and out. And of course, when the summers come by, you get them killed as well. Well, or you kill them yourself, or you have the traps to it. But make sure you smash that like button. Well, actually, you can just you can just gently nudge it. And uh, subscribe as well while you're at it. And go join my Discord, follow me on Twitter. And, well, ring that notification bell. Perfect, perfect. Thank you. And you could do it. So I've been thinking a little bit about what do I want to do here and we probably want to go down a little bit further because um, if you see right uh, beside here I do have these ones and we don't want to risk these ones actually getting destroyed so we're going to go down a little bit more maybe another uh, maybe three more so that we can build out and not risk these ones getting destroyed on the side because if we have something here you know that these ones can get uh, destroyed as well okay so i went down a couple more blocks and then we are going to actually make this one a little bit wider i think instead of having which like one two three we'll probably make it uh five that'll give us a little bit of extra space but when zombies come in so they can actually spread out a little bit because i don't want them to sort of congregate in the same area so uh they make it three and i'm gonna make it uh let me clear a space about 10 that way as well as you can see, I have expanded it here and we have more space on the sides. And this is where so I think I need a little bit more here. Three, four, five. Let's start with that. So I'm going to start with making this about five by five, which is a pretty good size. And on the sides, I'm going to have these ones, arrow slits. Two. Uh, let me start with one, actually, um, and sort of show how it's done. So I'm going to make two high here. And uh, behind here, I'm going to, of course, need to make a little bit more space because we're going to get in some dart traps. And the dart traps are good because they will, well, they will help us to actually kill the zombies that are stepping in here. And we're effectively going to make it a place where we put in some dart traps. We put in a bit of electric fences to stun them. And we're going to put in, of course, trip bars that we're only firing when there are any zombies there and um, you might be able to sort of see the shape of it here so we put dart traps here and uh, let me get a little bit of space behind so i have uh, space to hook up everything else all right so what we're going to do here we're going to put a nice little trip wire behind one behind that we're going to put an electric fence and we're going to do the same thing on this side as well if you've seen me do these kind of corridors you probably recognize it uh, and to show this, I'm going to take the power from here. And the order again is really important. If you do it the wrong order, things will not fire properly. So we're going to connect tripwire one. The tripwire one goes to tripwire two. Tripwire two goes to electric fence two on the uh, same side. And that one goes all the way across to the first one. So now if this is triggered, uh, apparently not. Why is it not being triggered? Oh yeah, I know why it's not being triggered. I thought I'd done something dumb and I have. I haven't actually connected it to <laughs> that generator. So let's uh, make sure we do that as well. Let's go down here again. And if I walk past that, bzz, yep, no, no, that works properly. I'm being properly stunned. But uh, the dart traps are not firing. So let's get some darts in there as well. Let's get a one, two, three, four. Let's uh, put in one on each lock it 
and I'm going to do the same thing for all of them. It's important that you lock them because if you don't, they're not going to fire. And this is fairly easy to actually rem not remember. It's fairly easy to forget to put in and lock and add did lock. Okay. So now these ones are not firing. So you need to take it from the second side from the tripwire. Go to one of the dot traps from that dot trap. Go up so that this one triggers at the same time. And this one you go across to this one. You'll see one extra uh, wire there. And the bottom one goes up to this one, which means that if I trigger this one, let's see if I can go in without dying. You see that it's firing both up and down. Everything is firing. So now all these are firing. For the first one, you want to, or I want to rather, uh, actually on this side, I think, you want to go in and uh, change the delay a little bit. I'm going to put it two seconds. Uh, the reason being is that I don't want everything to congregate here in the middle right behind. I want them to get in a little bit further. So I put it at two seconds. So I'm now going to line this up and I'm going to do five by five. So you'll have five layers of these ones. And uh, let me get that done. And uh, well, I'll get back to you. And now it's time to uh, load all of them. Now that I've gotten everything nicely done up here. So you'll see I uh, changed it over to a switch so I can actually walk past here. And then I have everything set up where I have uh, electric fences. I have all these dart traps firing across and uh, yep. And I can turn on and off here just to make it easier in case I want to. Well, when I want to go past here, so I don't get myself killed as well, because that's uh, fairly annoying. So as you remember, we put the first one to have a two second delay. We're going to put this one for one second delay and the rest are just going to be default. The aim is, and I might have to tweak that, but the aim is basically to to make sure that as the zombies make their way in, that the first ones might uh, trigger the tripwire but it's not going to stun them until they're sort of in here so that i don't get uh, you know 20 zombies standing around this area i want them to sort of spread out a little bit i'm also going to make this a little bit higher so it's going to be up to probably around this height so that uh, there is plenty of space for them to stack up if they really need to because i don't want all of them to be in one place now of course um something worries me that if i just have it like this we're going to have a lot of death in our hand and unfortunately it's going to be my death so what we're also going to do not the centered one we want to have hmm we want to have a pole okay i tied it up a little bit uh, and we're going to actually do something uh, to stop the zombies from running all the way so the thought is that as they run in they will be stunned they will be taking damage from the dart traps. However, that's unlikely to be sufficient. It will be damaging them, but it's not going to necessarily kill them that fast. So we're going to have a little bit of uh, concrete poles here. I might in the middle actually have a door. I have been thinking about doing that. Um, possibly it's one of those things that I haven't quite figured out if I'm going to put in a door in the middle to sort of try to get the zombies to move this direction or whether that's not going to be needed. You do want to have somewhere that they want to get through and uh, they, they hopefully <laughs> the idea is that going through this reinforced one is easier than these ones because these ones are steeled up. And I am also going to be blocking off this one so that even if they did want to go through here, oh, that there is no immediate uh, access path for them to where I am as well. And I'm going to have to shift that. I'm going to have to shift this. Uh, I'll shift that light, uh, sorry, light. That switch a little bit as well. But the idea is that uh, they really want to come this way because even if they try to go in there, they still have to go through another layer of uh, walls here on the sides, which means that they don't want to go that way. And I think this would actually be sufficient. Now, is it going to be? I don't know. There are some other things that we can actually put in. And let me do this. We can actually stop them a little bit more. Let's see if I can get this one. Uh, that'll work, actually. We can actually do this slightly like this uh, to further impede their progress. Now, these ones probably are going to be taken out but they can help to slow them down. I could, for instance, do 
and I turn yeah I can do it like this to stop them here at the front I'm gonna try that during the hold actually to see if I have these ones uh, because if they stop here and see if I can get through if they stop here uh, because they might want to jump over then they will still be taking time here because everything slows down and then they get over and if I then lift these ones up as well uh, all these ones you can see that oh what the okay that's not the right way of uh, actually ordering them let me do a very quick change here I guess I turned a little bit when I did that let's say uh, copy this one copy rotation do it like this what that is still not the correct way I thought I said copy rotation what there is uh, something weird going on here come on don't tell me that no copy oh copy rotation okay now it finally works I think that I might have been no I thought I was gonna these all quick ah, I don't know something weird was happening there but anyway uh, doing something like this can help to sort of uh, guide them in and pass and you could either even do something like this that actually potentially uh, might make them sort of go sort of a zigzag way I, I don't know it's just something that I want to try out and this is effectively what it is let's uh, get this one here as well let's make it uh, not this one yes this way but let's make it exactly the same because uh, that's not exactly the same this would be exactly the same you don't necessarily need to have these ones on the sides but again it doesn't hurt either to make it look a little bit more even and Right. That's the game saying that, nope, we don't want you to stand anywhere near there. It was way too effective. Uh, don't, don't, don't kill me, please. Please don't kill me. Uh, and I think this might actually be sufficient. And I'm also going to going to expand a little bit this one a little bit this way and I'm going to give myself a way to come down here. And we're going to assume that this is sort of our base area for, well, our base. And I think actually we are done. So let me show how this works. We come here, we'll come home, everything opens. And unfortunately, why is this one here? It's not supposed to be here. Okay, okay. We come home and we hopefully don't have vehicle there. Uh, we get off the bike and everything closes. Maybe the delay is a little bit too big. If you're being chased, uh, that's dangerous. Anyway, that's a small thing. We have uh, obviously a hatch here. I can uh, lock it after me so you have even less risk of zombies wanting to go down here. We come down here. Here's sort of the fighting area. And uh, yeah, I made a slight little panic room here if I need to get away from uh, potentially demolishers that blow up. Or the cops that might be coming and well this is where the zombies will come down and they will be well hopefully dying here and we have a switch here to turn everything on and off really nice and you might wonder how do you gain access to all the traps and everything excellent question excellent question so if you do remember it's open thank you sir i put in these ones on the sides uh so I could get access to this one. I thought, hey, let me just make a stairway down so I can get down here. A little bit temporary. I would probably do something a bit more permanent. But, you know, this shows the one way to gain access to your own base. At least the traps and everything. And, yeah, this is how it is. A little bit nice and tidied up. And what I am going to do, I am going to take this one. I'm going to run out. I am going to start a Blood Moon Horde. And uh, we will see how this one holds up. I seem to be having an issue with my vehicles being uh, duplicated. But all right, that's fine. Am I carrying any? I am. Oh, I'm carrying all these extras as well. All right. Vehicle duplication does happen. Apparently, I'm getting all these Jeeps and uh, motorcycles. But they're really small once you drop them. Hmm. Wonder why. Well, let's uh, start a Blood Moon Horde. Okay, so smart people probably caught something that I uh, made a slight little mistake here. <laughs> These ones need to be one ahead. They should be here. 
obviously if they're not here we end up having a major problem because all the summers are going to be right in front here and nothing is firing here so i'm gonna to have to shift these ones out one um and i'm also going to shift this uh, switch because i think that if i'm unlucky ups might vomit maybe i'll put it up here or something so let me do that switch oh we've been out too long uh, doing our scavenging oh but we're coming home here with the zombies coming after us oh, let's make sure we get to safety we drive in here we uh flip the switch so that everything closes then we have to go down here quickly please let me go down and let's close this one and now we should be oh yeah we are getting these ones coming here and see if i can uh... oh yeah i can do that let's try not to die though let's use a first aid kit because i was too close if i do want to hide i can do that here but in general they should all really do be taking a lot of damage just from the dart traps that are here you always want to focus on uh well probably the cops because the cops are the ones that cause a lot of issues oh i think that he was exploding a little bit even if they get up here it's not a major problem because uh, they should be taken care of by the dart traps on the side I do have 24 concurrent zombies, which is a lot more than you normally would. So if you have a lot less zombies, then this would be even easier. But with 24 concurrent, well, it seems to go well, just fine, actually. And uh, using uh, pipe bombs works well as well. And you'll see how uh, the zombies are sort of following this path. And I want to shorten it. I can do that. They'll go on the sides then. If I want to make it longer, I just flip it up and uh, you can sort of direct how they're coming that way because now most of them are coming here. As you can see, some of them jump up here and of course we have the, the cops that are going to be vomiting. But uh, you're going to have to take care of these ones one way or another anyway. I guess I could probably just hide here and sort of try to take out any that are coming up here if I really wanted to. But that's a bit boring we do want to be a little bit more well i guess active but i think that cops as always are the big problems let's throw a little bit more molotovs here burn them bit of a pipe bomb even better and then yeah when they come up just mail them because with all the traps here let's see are they doing a lot of damage they're doing a little bit of damage obviously I put this as reinforced concrete you could probably do steel and it would probably be just fine too many of them uh, like i have here 24 it makes it a little bit more hectic you have to actively defend because uh, traps are not going to be able to take all these uh, zombies without uh, well without your assistant but you see so many of the traps are firing and it's really whittling them down if you're looking at the bottom right you'll see this all this experience 60,000 experience just from standing here oh you do notice they do run on top of each other's heads you saw i think it was the i think it was the biker who was uh, running on top of this other head so i think it definitely does help to not have them all stunned at the at the beginning but they do after a while i think they still do get stunned oh some loot they come up oh yeah so i am uh, pleasantly surprised that even with all these concurrent well no that's a lot of a lot of cops what's that a whole troop zombie troop and of course this is why you pull out your m60 and you just uh, take care of all these ones that are coming up and you, i could probably do i have the i don't have any scrap but let's assume i had some scrap which of course i will have if i just find some and I can just uh, go up here and uh, repair these ones if they're taking some damage. They do take a little bit. It's not super much, but they do take a little bit. And, uh, yeah. So, as you notice, I'm not in God mode. This is entirely survival mode, except for building it in creative, uh, of course. But uh, you'll see, and if I really wanted to, I could actually stand here and shoot as well. As they come down if you don't have 24 concurrent you could actually shoot them on the way but once there are this many down you probably want to stand here and i would i would suggest use your uh, whatever melee weapon you have or taking care of them when they're this close and when 
when the cops come in, then that's when you pull out your guns just to make sure they don't blow up. If they blow up, it's not it's not a huge issue, but they will do more damage to, for instance, all these trapdoors. And of course, that's something that you might want to avoid. And when you get too many here in the front or in the kill area, just uh, throw in a couple of pipe bombs and as you see, that tends to take care of it. And yeah, I just clean up you see your sledgehammer. Oh, I can actually hit him there. This guy, I think, got uh, turned around. Oh, we're getting a demolisher in here as well. Uh, two headshots and he is down as well. Of course, you don't want to have him uh, blow up. But if you can stand here, because he is getting stunned, and he is following the same side of mace uh, that I'm building in, it was actually really easy to take care of him as well. Just uh, wait until he's stunned, give him a couple of headshots, and bam! See, here's one more. Let's see, he's getting stunned again. Yep. Even better. That actually worked really easily. I'm surprised. I'm actually taking the most damage, I think, from the cops because they will be uh, vomiting even before they're stunned. So what do you think? How's this working out? I think it's working really great and as you see where the demolishers coming in they are following the same path and you just headshot them a couple of times and they're dead because the dart traps are helping to just soften them up. I think this has worked uh, even better than I was expecting. There's going to be a little bit of damage, but it's mostly a little bit on the poles, a little bit of uh, cop explosion damage, and of course the hatches. But hatches actually worked even better than I thought by guiding them in through that path. And I could probably make that a little bit longer if I wanted to. But high game stage, I'm at 525 or something as usual. With the 24 concurrent, I could probably bump it up to 32. I don't think that would be an issue. You do have to be active yourself to defend, but... But as long as you are, this is a piece of cake. So hope you enjoyed this example of how to secure your underground base and specifically your garage if you follow my underground garage base build. Thank you for watching. Hope you've subscribed by now and uh, catch me next time. Special thanks to the great patrons supporting the channel. If you would like to join the vetted community and support these videos, do follow the Patreon link.